Yellowstone volcano, scientists discovered the supervolcano is double the size from what the geologists originally thought. Now, I will go into the today's earthquakes around Yellowstone after this video because that's going to be a little bit more detailed. But this has to do concerning the size of the supervolcano. It's over twice as big as they thought. Callum Hoy Express UK recaps what the USGS geologists told us. Yellowstone scientists discovered the magma chamber below Yellowstone National Park is more than twice the size they originally thought, according to their statistics. Actually, they believe it's two and a half times the size. The Yellowstone volcano gets its label because as a supervolcano, it's able to inflict devastation on a worldwide level, and it's located between the states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. It's basically, um, most of it is on the northwest corner of Wyoming, at the corner with uh, Montana and Idaho. The volcano is constantly being monitored by U.S. Geological Survey and the University of Utah for uh, earthquakes and for signs that a super eruption could be on its way. But scientists at the University of Utah discovered something astonishing in 2013. James Farrell, alongside a team of geologists, found the magma reservoir below the caldera far exceeds previous estimates as far as its size. Dr. Farrell and his team calculated the size by analyzing earthquake measurements data collected from 1984 to 2011 from about 40 seismometers installed around Yellowstone National Park. The team used software to calculate how long it took for the seismic waves to travel from the epicenter of an earthquake to the surface seismometers. Farrell then used the information to create a map of the underground magma reservoir under Yellowstone. And most of it is under Yellowstone Lake, by the way. He said in 2013, Cook, we found it to be about two and a half times larger than we thought. That's not to say it gets getting any bigger, it's just that our ability to see it is getting bigger, better. We believe it will erupt again someday, but we have no idea when. What we're seeing now agrees with the geological data that we have about past eruptions that took place, and that means there's potential for the same type of eruption that we've seen in the past. Yellowstone caldera formed during the last three eruptions, 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 630,000 years ago. There has been, those were the super eruptions. There has been many eruptions since then, a major one at 70,000 years ago, another one 130,000 years ago. Since the 70,000 years, there have been another 80 eruptions. Scientists believe these would have been monumental and created effects on a global scale concerning, of course, the super eruptions. And is capable of spewing more than 240 cubic miles of magma across Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, causing climate effects worldwide eventually because of the ash clouds. But experts are not sure when this will happen again in the future. Dr. Fowl explains you'll get ashfall as far away, away as the Great Plains and even farther east. A lot of people say that the Yellowstone volcano is overdue to erupt, but there's no evidence that it is overdue. We can't say when the next eruption is going to happen. However, I think we'll have anywhere from weeks to months of warning that magma is moving up to the shallow crust and that something is going on. And remember that uh, with the South California volcanoes, in the past we had another uh, Ridgecrest earthquake exactly of 7.1 magnitude. That was in 1999, and that created an earthquake swarm in Yellowstone. Uh, earthquake swarms in Yellowstone also started after the Denali, Alaska quake. 
the Haiti quake and the 8.8 magnitude Chile quake. So since all those earthquakes on the west coast affected quake swarms of Yellowstone, we expect that it may be possible that this recent sequence of earthquakes, 6.4, 7.1, 5 point something, and just today, four and a half, uh, will perhaps give rise to a new quake swarm in Yellowstone. We'll see. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.